So hello, 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 brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Worshippers Retreat. My name is Rhonda, and I pray you all had a great day today or are having a great day, depending on what time zone you're in. Uh, so I had this dream about a week or two ago um, while I was on my break. And um, so it wasn't a, a very long dream, so I'll just go ahead and get into it. Um, in this particular dream, I remember being in a room with this, uh, Christian YouTube couple, and I'm not going to call their name, um, the husband and wife couple. And, you know, if I'm not mistaken, I saw the rapper Jay-Z sitting in a seat and, uh, you know, they just different people were in the room and, uh, the couple came in. And they initially had on, you know, like a regular outfit, but everybody was being told to um, change into red. Like they either wore red, white, or black um, at the event, whatever event they were having. And uh, the understanding that y'all gave me was, you know, I guess they they had reached like a lot of subscribers on YouTube and, you know, because... uh you know, they were gaining, I guess, somewhat fame and influence, then they were offered um, this deal to me, Jay-Z and whoever else. And so as I'm sitting, as I'm observing, and I'm I'm observing the colors that they're changing into, everybody has to wear a specific color. I'm just like, something is not right about this right here. And so, um, I began to feel uneasy and the couple was just so excited, just not paying attention and oblivious to what is about to go down. And so, um, the room has more than one door and on the other side of the room, there's this door and they start bringing in children. And so I'm just trying to calculate this in my head. Like this isn't making sense. Like why would they have these young children in and it's it was like it was it was a a good amount of children coming in through the door um of the door and so right when i saw the children brothers and sisters it clicked in that they were about to do a ritual and the sad part about it was that the couple wasn't aware that they had been like they they had accepted whatever deal but from what my knowledge from y'all is that they it wasn't told that they were going to have to do do things um just to move up the ladder and so um they went and i was trying to hurry up and signal to them brothers and sisters like hey you you need to get out of here and fast because what i noticed is that they started brothers and sisters locking the door and I kept trying to tell them, I say, Hey, get, you know, like get, get out now, get out now. And so they didn't really pay me much attention. And so I hair up and got out. And just as they were, you know, locking the door. And when I uh, came out of the room, brothers and sisters, um, I saw Diddy coming. He had on all black and a sense of dread just came over me. And I knew that he was a warlock, like he he is, and so he was he had like a a feminine type outfit on, and if you don't know if you don't know by now, Diddy is not straight. Um, you know, Yah has spoken to me many times about Diddy and how judgment is coming upon him because he's he's turned out a lot of men and boys, um, and. He doesn't really try to hide, hide it, but it's just, you know, the elephant in the room. And so anyway, he was coming and I'm just like, I pause. I'm just like, oh my gosh. And so initially he's looking straight ahead and he comes to the room, the a door that's at the back of the room with a key. And I'm trying to hurry up and get out of his way. And we cut, we lock eyes brothers and sisters, and I start to run because I, I know he's going to try to force me back into the room. And so he sticks out his hand like like he can control the building 
with without you know like a like like i think he had a, like a remote in his hand but i had the sense that he could because he's like a, a warlock he could he could control stuff spiritually you know demonically um brothers and sisters and so he wasn't he wasn't interested even in running in me. It's just like, he was, he was sure that he was going to uh, get me to come back in that room. Because once you, you, once he came in that room, brothers and sisters, nobody got out of the room. And so I start, I began to run and it's just like, he's, he's kind of like alerting people, um, you know, that I'm on the loose. And so I got, I get away and I make it to it's in the building. It's like some type of tall office building, like a high rise building or something with multiple uh, floors. And so I guess like a building that, you know, like, um, they would have like a, a music producer or whatever. And so as I'm going, as I'm running, I'm noticing in on the other side of this building, I thought that I had stepped, you know, went into another dream, but I didn't. They had classrooms, brothers and sisters, and children were everywhere. And so I'm just confused at, okay, so we, I, I just came out of what appears to be a meeting with, with Jay-Z and, and Diddy. And what y'all lets me know is about to be a sacrifice, like a ritual, like in, in there, they were going to be filming, you know, and, but now I'm, um, and it was the same dream, brothers and sisters. So, you know, like in some type of, uh, class setting with children and stuff. And there were teachers, they had people watching the children and, um, something happens to this one girl. And it's like, I know the girl, the little girl. And I'm just like, why didn't y'all keep an eye on her? And so I'm just questioning y'all. And the thing that I hear brothers and sisters is a breeding farm. And that, and y'all told me, said that they keep these children, they breed these children, um, just to be sacrificed and they use, you know, uh, use for, uh, purposes that are not so good. I can't really come out and say the word cause you know, uh, YouTube will flag me, but <sighs> the, the reasons just weren't good brothers and sisters. And I remember just my face just. I was horrified and I woke up. And so y'all said that this is a lot of, a lot of Christian, uh, so-called YouTubers are being reeled in and they are joining the Illuminati. They are joining, um, you know, some of them are, are, a lot of them are being Freemasons, brothers and sisters. And some of you might have noticed that there has been a change on their channel. And I've been noticing because the Holy Spirit, you know, he he points stuff out to me. But this particular couple, they did not know that they had been invited into uh, an, an initiation, like a, a ritual was going to take place with children. And I wasn't so sure that those children were going to make it out alive, brothers and sisters. And and the fact that they all had to wear red and white, that's usually said that's that's the, the sign of a sacrifice. So, um, yeah, yeah, I wanted me to come and just uh you know tell you guys about this right here and then if you if you do your research and you know people in the industry this even worse than this happens brothers and sisters in hollywood you know uh they say even with diddy he has parties and stuff and um just all types of stuff go on there you even recently a while a little while back saw uh bishop td jakes at his party, you know, could, because both of them are, um, they're in the same colorful lifestyle. We just going to keep it 100. Um, and what, what reason would a so-called man of Yah, which we know he's not, would be doing with a man of that caliber. And don't tell me that he's, he's a witness in the Diddy because he wasn't. Diddy had his head on his shoulder. Um, and both of them like boys. So Yeah. Oh my gosh. Brothers and sisters, don't get real in. Don't don't I don't care what people are offering you. Don't get real in. Y'all has been calling out some other believers on YouTube to me that seem to be <laughs> 
Yeah, so brothers and sisters, don't get don't get real then. Um unfortunately, like I I had a family member that would tell warn us about the music industry. And he would say that all of it is the same, including the gospel uh, industry, brothers and sisters. A lot of a lot of you you all idolize these people, and you just you you know some of you covet their lives, not realizing that they're puppets and they're slaves to Satan, um, and they're tormented by demons. Some of them might enjoy that lifestyle, but a lot of people don't. Like my family member, before he passed, he told us he said, you know. He knew people in the industry and he worked with people and he even said that the gospel industry was no different. You know, I've, I've even seen a lot of uh, gospel music artists, um, you know, joining sororities and fraternities. And if you, you do, uh, if you study, um, you know, the secular music industry, they do the same thing and that's to help them get inf- gain influence and, you know, support and move up their satanic ladder. And so I even saw, unfortunately, recently, Erica Campbell has some new song out and she's doing the one eye symbolism, symbolism of brothers and sisters. And so a family member, he would just tell us, he said, you know, there's really no difference. A lot of them in that industry are in the colorful lifestyle, just like the secular uh, music. They do sacrifices in that industry, in the gospel music industry, too. And so you, you, a lot of them are also Freemasons, brothers and sisters. So all of these people are coming together to help usher in, uh, the one world order. I have to say it a certain type of way because, uh, YouTube will try to flag it. And it's, it's sad when there's no difference between light and dark brothers and sisters. There's, it's really, it's, it's really sad. Many people are being led astray by their lust, brothers and sisters, their need for wealth, fame, and fortune, and power. And y'all told us, he said, seek you first the kingdom and all these things, whatever you need, will and he, and he feels you should have, will be added unto you. People start out good and then they go off the, the narrow uh, path onto the broad one that leads to destruction. Whatever is in your heart, brothers and sisters, it will come out. And we're in trying times right now. Judgment is coming upon the whole world. And and Yah is going to allow Satan to try the hearts of men and women. And if you are not rooted and grounded and anchored in Yahshua Hamashiach, in the word of Yah, you you will be taken away. Now is not the time... To go running after the cares of this life, brothers and sisters. Those things will perish. This world, this thing, the things in this world is temporary. It's just not worth it. You have so many people prophesying and saying, oh, America is in its glory days. No, she's not. She's on her way out of here. The dollar is collapsing. Economic failure. It's coming. Y'all been, was telling me about that like last year for, for a while now. Nothing will go back the same. And then, then we're, we're on the verge of another shutdown, brothers and sisters. That's going to be worse than COVID. The virus that's coming. Y'all had me praying. Um last year and stuff and he told me he says you know, something worse is coming he had me to go look up the movie contagion he showed me um you know scenes in the of the future where visions of the future where nobody is working and americans are in deep poverty Yeshua Hamashiach is our only hope in these trying times. So don't get carried away. Repent if you're backslidden and come back to Yah before a day and an hour too late. If you if you've never um, been in a relationship with him, now is the time. 
while you can still do it, now is the time. Because times are coming where the Bible's going to be out, outlawed. You you won't be able to find uh, a, a a good ch- uh, church building, which uh, that is is happening now, or or someone that can actually baptize you and, and teach you the gospel, brothers and sisters. Don't wait too late. It's not safe. Yahshua Hamashik is our only hope. Please take heed to this warning. You social media influencers. What profits a man to gain this old world but lose his soul?